guys make music that sounds so similar, they might as well combine a few songs to make just one. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 artists whose songs sound the same. For this list, we've chosen acts based on how similar the arrangements and musical styles of many of their songs are, as opposed to our personal opinions on the artists themselves. For the record, we're not saying these acts are bad or play bad music, just that their music has often been labeled by some as uninventive, to put it politely. Hey, this is clean though. It's heavy on the bass, I would say. Number 10, Cake. A girl with a smooth liquidation. I don't like all that thumping. While this band has found quite a bit of commercial success, especially in the 90s and early noughties, their music is also notorious for sounding a bit repetitive. Between tunes like The Distance, He's going the distance. He's going for speed. and their profanity-laced cover of Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive, I should have changed my f lock. I would have made you leave your key. Cake songs are full of steady drum beats and signature trumpet parts here and there. It's also topped off by the half-sung, half-spoken vocals from frontman John McRae which makes almost any cake song instantly recognizable. Never, ever, ever, ever hey! I saw a butterfly in hell today. Well, I die, I go to Number 9, today. Lil Wayne. Cuz I live by the sword, I'm dying by the sword. Her police was looking for me. I'm a high when it comes to this rapper, it's not just his auto-tuned rapping style that's often used as a feature in his song. It's the instrumental parts as well. The beats and structure of tracks like Amelie. Amelian here, Amelian there, Sicilian bitch with long hair with coconut dairy gear. And six foot, seven foot. Talking to myself because I am my own consultant. Married to the money. The world, that's adultery. Both produced by Bangladesh are so similar that Wheezy could have just as easily reworked the tempo of one song to combine it with the other, and no one would be the wiser. I don't owe you like two vows, but I would like for you to pay me by the hour. I speak the truth, but I guess that's a foreign language to y'all, and I call it like I see it. Number eight, Ramones. Although this New York band was seminal in the development of punk rock and their influence can still be heard today, they were also masters of sticking to the formula of making loud, fast, and direct music. Often backing up Joey Ramone's distinctive voice were the same four chords. along with bass lines and drum beats that aren't very difficult to learn. Many songs also involve Joey counting one, two, three, four. <laughs> Number seven, Pitbull. One, two, three, four, uno, do, I know you want me. With this guy's music, the similarities come out not just through his typically club poppy beats, you can put the blame on me. But also largely through his flow and the particular sayings he reuses when he raps. If Pitbull's not saying this world or in just about every verse he drops, then he's dropping some random lines in Spanish every now and again. Oh, 
Montea. Number six, Rage Against the Machine. Let's just get one thing out of the way. These guys are extremely talented. They're one of the biggest acts of the 90s, but the rhythms, guitars, not to mention Zach de la Rocha's trademark aggressive rapping style, are a constant throughout much of their musical output. And you only need to listen to their self-titled album for proof of that. One can only hear so many times per song. Number 5, Linkin Park. I tried so hard and got so far. like the further these guys go into their lengthy career, the more same old, same old their songs become. So let's go the clearest example of this? Take the two songs used in the first two Transformers movies directed by Michael Bay. What I've Done and New Divide may have different lyrics and different keys, but their song structure and rhythm, marked by Linkin Park's alt-rock, industrial rock, and electronic rock vibe, and Chester Bennington's soft and screaming vocal style are practically indistinguishable. Number four. Jack Johnson. Oh, baby, those are such great shoes. He's an artist that draws huge crowds around the world and makes you feel like you're at the beach when you listen to him. He thinks the same and all Sunday gonna save his soul. But the styles of each of his songs have one major thing in common. They've almost all got that laid back feel and vibe so that they can be hard to tell apart. I got everything, I've got you. Jack Johnson's usual style of acoustic guitars, quiet vocals, and somewhat poppy melodies shows itself in much of his musical output. Just take, for example, his album, In Between Dreams. As far as modern progressive metal goes, these guys are one of the biggest names out there. But while they're very talented musicians, the structures of many of their songs sound eerily alike. They often use unconventional time signatures, distorted bass, and stay within a very electronic and industrial sound that gives much of their music a digital vibe. Ever notice how similar the musical climaxes to The Grudge and Vicarious are? Number 2. ACDC You can't fault Angus Young and company for having a distinctive hard rock sound, but there are certainly times when it sounds like they're parodying themselves. Despite having had two lead singers in their long history as a band, ACDC's vocal style and the overall structure and arrangement of their songs don't differ too much from each other. can pretty much identify an ACDC song right off the bat. Just check out songs like Jailbreak and
and Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap for proof. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Nickelback. Was there really any doubt about this one? This band's use of the same old power chords and song structures has given rise to criticism that they're the most same sounding band out there. Don't believe us? Just take a listen to How You Remind Me. This is how you remind me of what I really am. It's not like you to say sorry. And someday. Just as long as you know that someday I will. Someday, somehow. Or better yet, listen to the popular internet mashup, How You Remind Me of Someday. Admittedly, their formula works, but how many songs about sex and drinking featuring Chad Kroger's growling vocals and a loud versus quiet melody can you listen to before you start wondering if you're just listening to the same song over and over and over again? Do you agree with our list? Which artist do you think has the most similar sounding music? Makes me laugh. With entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.